Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some quick unboxings for you. So a couple of these things are from Amazon. I already opened the pouches, not knowing. Um, this one is a Doc Tech uh, little dock, and um, I had one of these already for my MacBook Pro, and um, I got another one to put in my little tech pouch that I have in my backpack for travel and whatnot. I think it's just something good to have. It has a Ethernet plug here. It has two USB-A's, a USB-C. It has a micro SD, whatever that thing is, and an HDMI. So you get all that with a USB-C plug. And it's very, very important with a MacBook that you have this because they don't have all those ports included, um, which is a little annoying, but it does make the uh, MacBook very sleek and everything. So I appreciate it. And I love the one I have. I use it every time I do a live stream and uh go on trip or whatever and i figured i already have it all set up in my office this will be good to just put in that pouch uh in my little tech case and then i'll be good to go so anyway there's that and then a company reached out and um asked me if i wanted to check out their compressed air duster and i know it's kind of random because i'm a you know mostly an edc channel but i do review random shit and i actually have an air duster that i I despise. I don't even know where it is. I got rid of it. Um, I need a good one because I hate canned air. I, it's kind of a waste. Um, it's not ideal. So it'd be cool to have something that could do it, you know, uh, blow out pivots and stuff like that. Um, so it is kind of knife related if you think about it. But um, what is going on here? They hit me up and asked if I wanted to review it, and I said, sure, so they sent it along. So that's kind of what happened. I don't know why I can't open it, though. There we go. No idea what's happening. Just tearing at it at this point. There we go. Oh, fancy. Okay, it has, you know, Chinese writing on the front. Um, so they're not hiding the fact that it's made in China. They are hiding the fact that opening it is fucking annoying Urgh. jesus christ oh shit i almost just sliced the fuck out of myself i need to be more careful Urgh, jesus come on not very friendly opening okay thank you jesus is there any more in there like Trying to be quick here. So you have this guy, this guy, charging, yeah, USB-C, and you got a little, a little this guy, whatever this is. And instructions, you know, I won't read right away. This is a big unit, so uh, a little nicer than the one I had, I think. We got a little button down here. I don't know what it does. I don't know what that is. Press this switch to increase the air pressure. Please refer to the manual for notes. Okay. I guess I could leave that on, right? Increase the air pressure. Oh, there's a flashlight on it. Interesting. Um, where does this go? I guess it would go down here. Right? So let me take this off because it looks like it wants me to. This is not the video on this, but um, yeah. So this goes, I guess, around here. Just got to make sure I do it the right way. Oh, that's where the air comes out? Jesus. Okay, Kev. Just trying to figure out if it goes this way or... I think it does. Kind of wrap it like that. that i don't know and then you have this is this attached to that guy kind of i guess that's the way it's supposed to work you can also attach this on there i assume like that oh and then what i don't know maybe this can go Oh, that's just right. I don't know what that's for. 
I don't know why you would want that. Right? Maybe this comes off again. Can I go directly to this? No. Can't go direct to that. So this has to go on there, I guess. I didn't do it backwards, did I? It doesn't go like this, does it? Underneath? No, it latches on like this. So I had it right. Ugh. Yeah, that's on there pretty good. Just don't quite understand the point of that other thing, but I guess this goes on like that. Turn it on. Flashlight. Off. Hold down. Oh, I think this light is for the light. This one. There we go. Oh. Okay, now what if I have to hold down? Hi, and then. What that did it pop? Did you hear that? Increase the air pressure. I don't know. I'm gonna leave that on because I don't I'm not quite sure what that does. But anyway, I will uh oh there's another light here. There's two lights. That's cool. Alright, interesting, right? I mean it's weird, but it's cool. Don't really know why you would have this piece. That's what I was trying to figure out, right? Because this just goes on to that. What's the point of that? This I get because it extends it. Don't quite understand this one. Unless this somehow got attached to this, but I don't see that happening. This doesn't make sense, really. But, um, yeah. I'll read some instructions and learn more about that guy. Um, uh, anyway, there's that. Um, and then I got this. This is a UV sanitizer. Now, Tri-State sent me this link because I was asking about phone soap. It's like, uh, uses UV rays to clean your phone because apparently our phones are just disgusting with germs and viruses and shit. I thought I'd give it a try, but I didn't want to spend 70 bucks on a phone soap. So Tri-State's like, oh, they got this Samsung one for 15 bucks. So I bought it. Designed for Samsung? I don't know what the hell that means. But it's not a Samsung product. At least as far as I can tell. It's not branded enough like a Samsung for it to be a Samsung. So I don't really know the point of this guy. Oh, wow, it's much bigger than I expected, which is good. I thought it was going to be, like, really tiny. So you could fit some shit in here. I was wondering if my glasses would fit. Like, could I clean them? Don't think so. Damn it. Can I lay them down? Hey! They do fit in there. I don't know how well. I guess you would do it like this. See if, I don't know, see if it works. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm going to test this out, see how it does. Um, and I'll let you guys know. Probably another USB-C. If it's a USB micro, we're in trouble. Yep, USB-C. I just collect those at this point. Um, all right, so we got that. I'll let you know. I'll do a video if it's worth it. And then uh, this one's from my boy Troy over at Northwoods Leatherworks. Um, we have a few, I think, a few slips. Thought it was like three or four, but we'll see. Yeah, I thought it was four, actually. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. We have four. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
There we go. Troy sticker, I wanna make sure that was there. All right, so these are for a couple of my knives that I got slips for. So one of them is for the, um, put these like this. Shit, I don't even know what they're all for at this point. This one I know is for my cyborg, right? Because I, um, I wanted a ghost one. Basically, if you guys don't know what the ghost is, it's um, leather that it has this like wax on it and this will wear off. So this yellow color is going to come out um, and then you have the green there. So in the end, it should be like a yellow and green color and it's got some brown in it right now. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I have been told that you don't have to put your knife in the way I do. You can apparently turn it this way if you want. If that fits better for you, this does not, but um, just wanted to mention that. Nice and snug there. Um, yeah, it's got good grip and uh, looking good. He really killed it on this one where it just matches perfectly with this line. Um, I think it's just because it sits a little deeper, honestly. That might be the case, but yeah, that's in there as far as it goes. So we'll let this sit. Um, these are Butero leather, I believe, so they're a little bit tighter, um, and they just, you know, you got to give it a little bit to break in. I just kind of do this. Um, you do not want to wet form these. People have been recommending I wet form them. Don't do that. Um, they're too thin, is what Troy has said. It'll basically ruin it. That already looks fantastic. Look at that. The yellow is a little bit darker than expected, but... Uh, this is the one I had for it. So I might save this for uh, something else or um, who knows, give it away. I don't know what I'll do, but I still really like it. You know, just another slip. And this one, trying to figure out what's... Okay, so this one here is for my Denka. So this is for the Denka, which is on the way. Cabell Knives Denka. If you guys remember, I bought one. So we'll see how it fits, um, but I don't have it yet. So I'm going to set that aside. Then I have these two, which ironically, this one is actually just like my, um, I just shipped it off, but it's just like my uh, shank knife slip. And he made this for the uh, vampire, which I love the way this looks right here, this combo. Um, but that looks pretty sick too. So it's kind of the same thing. It's red with black stitching, but the red is underneath. And um, he made it for himself, and then he changed his mind. He made something else. So he asked me if I wanted it. So I can use it for the vampire. Ugh. So it's got a little room there at the end. A little bit more than this one did, for sure. Look. You can see quite a bit more of that handle sticking out. Um, which, I don't know if that's better or not. This one fits nice and deep in there. And I can grab it out like that. Um, which I kind of like. So I also have this canine, right? The opposite version, sort of. And this fits the same slip, I believe. So let's see how deep that one fits in. Yeah, see, that fits a little bit better for me, I think. Um, it's a little bit deeper. I like how deep this fits. Um, you'll see if I put it in here, it sticks out. So I didn't know that. Um, the canine vampire slip I thought was the same, but this one's cut uh, a little bit shorter or longer, sorry. So I think I'm going to go with the canine in here because um, it still matches black and red. It's got the dark matter, so this is perfect. Um, and then I'll have this, which will fit a lot of stuff. Um, which is good. I'm starting to kind of rack them up a little bit here. So now I got a couple extras when stuff comes in. As long as the colors match and, you know, then I have extra slips I can use for things. Um, uh, just, you know, whatever. And, uh, then I have this white one, which is actually a new slip for my midnight. And I got that made because I just wanted to... See if they're a little different. I think they, I don't know. We'll see. 
And this one has the violet underneath the white. So again, it's like a wax and you can see some of it wearing through already. And that's what's so cool about this stuff. And it just slowly sort of wears in. Now, some people put their midnight in the other way. I kind of have a habit of just doing it this way and wanting it to work that way. But let's see how it looks this way because it might honestly be better. Might fit a little more snug. So if you do it that way, you have blade showing and a little bit of handle. If you do it this way, just make sure I get this in straight the first time so it doesn't, just being careful about it. There we go. Yeah, I prefer this because you don't, you don't have the blade showing. It's just a personal thing. It does look a little different because it's off to the side versus the other way, but I prefer this 100%. So um, I'm going to wear this pup in like that. And we'll have a new, uh, look at that, white stuff coming off. That's awesome. I don't think, I think this is my first one with the white over top. Man, look at that. It's already getting all like schmutzy. I love that. It's a German word for dirty. It's not, well, it's not a dirty word. Yes, it is. All right, cool. So that one and this one are going to start wearing it. I'm really loving this ghost leather. That's what he calls it or they call it or whatever. Um, really love this stuff because it just patinas really well. I have another, um, I have another slip in it, um, for my shank knives ally. But like I said, that one is, um, on loan right now to Colin. I'm going to stick with the vampire in here. I actually think it looks fantastic. So not going to mess with it. Yeah. I love all my slips from Troy. This one for the, uh, little bro is by far the stiffest. It's just like, does not want to does not want to lighten up on me or soften up on me. I guess like I just got to carry it more, but I guess it has softened up a little bit, but it's like really stiff here. Um you know, this has already softened up a ton. This is softening up. Something about the white just doesn't want to soften up. So I'm tempted to buy another one maybe with a different color, maybe the white over, you know, and just do like a natural or something. Because, I don't know, not loving the white, I think. Personal thing, but anyway. Um, yeah, there we go. And uh, as soon as Adenka comes in, I'll be rocking the, uh, this is like a navy blue under the black with purple stitching. Because that has Timascus on it. Oh, it's going to look good. So, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, quick random unboxing, obviously. I love you guys. Uh, check out Troy, Northwoods Leather Works. Co. You can hit them up on Gmail at Northwoods Leatherworks Co. at gmail.com or on Instagram, Northwoods Leatherworks Co. Love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.